Almost a year later, we're standing beside another circuit, a 2.2 mile slice of the Utah Motorsports campus west of Windy Salt Lake City, next to the road going version of the Ford GT that will trickle into buyers' hands at the rate of 250 annually over the next four years. Finally, after the surprise January 2015 reveal at the Detroit Auto Show, after countless magazine covers and breathless coverage, a few lucky members of the 4th estate will at long last get to drive Project Phoenix. Because the GT's narrow, vertical buckets don't move, the pedals and steering column do, with wide latitude for different body types, most of the car's buttons cluster on the rectangular wheel so you don't have to reach to the architecturally sculpted dash of carbon fiber bridges and buttresses. This car is not at all retro like its 2005-06 predecessor with its comparatively giant cabin, all data comes via digital screens, the one in front of the driver flashing the speed, revs, and plebeian messages such as driver door ajar. A big anodized button in the slim center console lights the twin-turbo 3.5-liter V6, and the nearby rotary shifter seems a little out of place, like something from a Ford Fusion. In Utah, Billy Johnson, just 29 when he drove the number 66 car that finished fourth in class in 2016, slides in next to me. For a vehicle that is more than 15 feet long, Putting two people into the GT is like stuffing a couple of bedspreads into a Maytag. As in a Lotus Elise, the seats are squeezed together, in board of the Ford's carbon fiber tub's thick structural side boxes. You will want to shower beforehand and wear only the mildest cologne, as you and your passenger are about to enjoy an intimacy Tinder users only dream about. The affable Johnson waves me forward and we burble menacingly onto the track. A big V6 especially one all stuffed up with turbos, doesn't always sound fabulous, but this 647 horsepower unit does. It makes a proper wail, the rising, ragged tones of its exhaust sealing the car's racing connection. You can hear the turbos whoosh a bit, but you can't hear any of that crass pish, 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 which would make it sound like just a jumped up Mitsubishi Evo.